seeing a trap door under every rug and, you know, embracing that that's a good thing. Oh, cool, we're going to go into a new tunnel. <laughs> Not that every thing is a trap. It's change the script in your head. You might as well just be powerful who you are. Stand in your power. Hello, welcome back. We are continuing our journey through astrology, through truth and symbolism, insight, psychological profiling, as seen through the 360 degrees of the zodiac, two degrees at a time. Today we're on Aquarius Leo 8. Thanks for being here. Without further ado, let's begin with Leo 8. An activist is stirring up discontent by spreading his revolutionary ideals. Bright flashes of electricity flashing through the atmosphere. An old medicine man with eyes of a snake's. A young woman sits at a piano and improvises beautiful music. A new religion re-embodying ancient principles. The stone here is Sharawite or Karawite. Both stones will be in the description if you'd like to take a closer look. Sharawite gives us deep transformational energy, unconditional love, fosters emotional healing, spiritual strength. A regulating of energies. So today I am going to start with a dream. It was just a little snippet. It was of a medicine man. It, there were snakes involved, but it's kind of where it differs from a medicine man with the eyes of snakes. He was outside, all dressed in black, kind of reminded me of an Indian. So I think maybe he had long hair, so dark hair, dark clothes, and in front of him, he was wrangling. He was more like a snake wrangler. He had two very large snakes. And they were intertwined in a circle in front of him. So he, so he was twisting their energy around each other. And at the top of the circle, he was milking each of them into the back of the other. And it wasn't easy. <laughs> Their heads kept trying to come off and so he like off of the others and he had to keep holding one and doing the other one and Yeah, that was my dream. Leave me a comment. Did you have a dream about any of these symbols? So we are talking about a clash here Chaos the new is wanting change the old doesn't want to change and this is where they come on head-to-head -head. it's the energy of Shiva destruction. So at the worst, this is a time when chaos is stirred up for the sake of chaos. And it's because we want change, but what we get is change. But it's not evolutionary, it's revolutionary. Because when we're faced with the idea of wanting to have this beautiful new way of being, when we come up against the old, what can happen and what usually happens is change happens, but it is a different version of the old. So that's what we need to be careful of here. This is electric energy for damn sure, <laughs> for darn sure, for damn sure. So it can be violent. Take care on this degree. There's also um, a deep emphasis on the eyes, penetrating eyes. So eyes that see through and others that get lost in their eyes. So people with really enigmatic, beautiful eyes here, a medicine man. And we can get lost in the eyes. Some people are afraid of the eyes because they see too much. And whoever's looking at their eyes can't quite get, what am I looking at? And what they're seeing is themselves. This, this person is egoless at the highest. So what is being seen is the shadows of the other. We're, we're, seeing, we're seeing ourselves in the, in the eyes of others. And some people are mesmerized by them. So there's an ability to mesmerize people here for sure. And if people do look in, they see a sense of home, and home is who they are. 
they see themselves. A great ability to just let go and be spontaneous and create beautiful music. That is the high road on this degree. So we need to maintain our focus on what we're wanting to communicate. And if so, we each have the ability to mesmerize with our eyes and our mental thoughts to convey a new way of being. Do not suppress your power. And you may not have a choice here. You may be forced to stand in your power, but do so with a sense of stillness within your heart. This is a degree, I think, truly of the peaceful warrior. You have to have the spirit of a warrior to stand there and get lambasted by somebody <laughs> and not sink to the level of just hurt, anger, feelings coming out and losing all sense of why you got there in the first place. So it does take a warrior spirit, but somebody who is really strong and knows that they are strong can be still in the face of chaos. The stones here today are absolutely the key phrase. A blending of the energies is what we're going for, but at this level expect a possible amount of chaos a needing to stand your ground, but do so with a sense of peace and stillness in your heart. Ideally, we can show a vision of a new way of operating at a mental level that is more peaceful for all of us. Also, someone who has this very strongly is going to strike some people sideways and they could be angry, they could be frightened, they could call you a witch. All manner of, of reactions can come with someone who has this degree very strong in their chart. And the key is just be yourself. Be spontaneous. Set your ego aside. Let the magic come out. This is someone who has a lot of magic within them. And allow your power to emanate. And don't worry about what people think. Just be you. Because you will not be able to control how people perceive you and if you stifle your power it's gonna blow up in your face anyway <laughs> it may be sporadically but it's coming you might as well just be powerful who you are stand in your power let's take a look at Aquarius 8 beautifully gowned wax figures on display old problems brought up and reassessed a master clothing designers creations displayed a man experiences much pain and discomfort as wings sprout from his back. A book, the words in it keep changing. The stone here is pink diamond. It balances energies, stimulates spirituality, amplifies our sense of beauty and charm. Intuitiveness is increased. It gives us more happiness and enhances creative expression. This is the Barbie degree in my mind waxed figures beautifully gowned on display. It is the idea of the new presented to the crowd, to the masses, a new way of being, similar to Leo 8, but in a slightly different form. But the power is available on both ends. Beauty and charm, a degree of designers, a degree of trendsetters. One of the key words that I picked up on here is exemplar, and that means a person or thing serving as a typical example or excellent model. So we're talking about models. We're talking about designer clothing, charm and grace on display, vision of the future, people who see the tr they set the trends and they give us the, the inside of what's coming. Both degrees are at the mental level here and so it is an implementation of the new but it's at the mental level. So a new way of communicating with others, a new way of expressing ourselves, a new way of meeting in our communication style is being shown here. So the old patterns being brought up and reassessed here, and really that's the theme of both, is clash and chaos. It's the old wanting to hang on, and, and this is a fixed degree, remember. We're in fixed territory here. 
So the only way to change is to change our mind, <laughs> change how we think about it. And it's an internal process. The mind is internal. But by doing so, we can see old issues in a new light and change them, change them from within. Here we absolutely want to embrace the fact that, again, and this was mentioned two degrees ago, I think, but uh, during these, during Aquarius, quit expecting life to be constant. If we can wrap our head around that, everything becomes more interesting. Allow change. Allow things to flow. Allow things to be different. Allow differences of opinion. Learn from them. Embrace them. Integrate them. Believe without reservation that you yourself are capable of change and that others are too. Allow it. The book with words that keep changing, we're that book. We're constantly changing. Constantly evolving. Just evolve for your highest good. Every time you make a decision, walk through a doorway in your house. You enter into a new conversation. This is being done at the highest level I can possibly do it. Just keep saying that. Keep saying that. Change is a good thing. Change is constant. Seeing a trap door under every rug and, you know, embracing that that's a good thing. Oh, cool. We're going to go into a new tunnel. <laughs> Not that every thing is a trap. It's change the script in your head. A deep need to nurture ourselves and others by being strong in our power is what's going on here. Barbie with power and the man growing the wings who didn't know he had them is a painful process to become the mutant is not an easy process. There's an evolution that goes with it that's much like grief where you go through all these steps of fear, anger, isolation, all those things happen with the ascension process. It's very painful. You nurture yourself and you keep finding new ways to support yourself. And at this level, it's at the mental level. If this is the first time you're seeing this video and you want to know a little of what I'm talking about, check out yesterday's video. It's the uh, Aquarius 7, Leo 7 video, the star seeds and mutants. The link is in the description. That's what I have for you today. I thank you so much for being here. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these symbols. Did you have a dream about these? Subscribe if you're enjoying these and you'd like to hear more about the evolution of astrology and how it plays out, the hero's journey. And give me a like if you're enjoying this. Till next time, take care.